It's garlic season, guys. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys where we get our garlic at and how we plant our garlic. The first thing we have to do, though, is clear our garden beds because a lot of what we grew this year, it's over. We already had first frost. We need to switch up the beds, start growing different things, and planting a bunch of garlic. Let's go. Okay, so tomato season's over. The rest of the stuff that's on the vine we're kind of just done with. It's kind of either rotting or bug eaten. So we're gonna take all of this down. I'm gonna clean out these beds because we really need to get our garlic in the ground. This property was neglected for years. No one lived here. And so finally they're like, all the bugs are like, wow, food. <laughs> I took out those plants. So I'm just kind of saving what I can, whatever's left over, and then uh, we'll bring that into the house. Everything else will either go to the chickens or be kind of composted into this area, which this area over here is like our bigger plans to have a bigger garden because I really like these raised beds, but I just don't think that it's going to be enough for all of our needs, our growing needs. So um, this is just kind of was to kind of get us growing something this year. Our garden has been one of those things where we didn't think we'd actually have a garden this year because, you know, we just moved to this new property and didn't think we'd have time. But we managed to build some raised garden beds this year. Then we got some plant starts and we just threw them in our raised beds. We were still very unsure of where we wanted to put the garden and we're still kind of unsure. We're not sure if it's going to stay here or if we're going to move it. Uh, we definitely know that we're going to expand the garden next year and also eventually we're going to get a greenhouse how do you think the garden was this year parts of me wants to say oh it was a complete and utter failure but it wasn't we did harvest quite a bit from the garden and we were able to even put away some things we grew okra we grew watermelon we grew sunflowers lots of tomatoes we did grow green beans, but they were very late. It's just hard because sometimes I want to compare things to our old place, but this is not our old place. This is, you know, this is a new piece of land and, and we have to be forgiving of ourselves because we did start late. I think the garden did the best that it could for being what it is. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that we were able to harvest as much as we did from it. All right, we grew these beautiful sunflowers each bed had a couple sunflowers this is like the last two of them and we're giving them to the chickens they can eat all the sunflower seeds we can eat them too but these are bug covered so <laughs> we are going to give these ones to the chickens and they will enjoy a nice little snack our chickens have been pretty naughty lately we cleared out most of our beds now but they started digging through it and digging some of their plant starts we had lettuce plant starts in here and some kales and stuff and, and the chickens have been eating it <laughs> like look at this some more swiss chard like all of this it looks so pretty there was like cute little like this they were one right after another exciting today because we're gonna plant our favorite thing and that's garlic because it's so simple. If you are in zone 7A, 7B, this is the time to grow your garlic in the fall time. A good way to get your garlic, if it's, you know, last minute, you know, all the garlic sold out, you can't buy any. We buy it at either our local farmer's market or the grocery store. I heard that the ones without the, the little roots are not good. You wanna buy the ones with the roots. One way we grow garlic is we go to the grocery store, we buy organic garlic, made in the USA, and we, this is about a, this is about a, a pound, a pound of garlic that we're gonna reproduce into more garlic when we plant it ourselves. First thing we gotta do is break these up. We gotta take these, the little tiny on, onions. You know, we wanna get these out. Get all the skin, this excess papery stuff buy what you need at the store and then we're gonna triple this next year when they when they all grow because each one of these is gonna be growing to this big one you know we're like tripling the growth of our garlic here just by buying it at the store first you know it's it's the long game you know this is not short short term this is the long game we have to 
uh, put in the work. These garlics will be ready to harvest about June, July. We don't like to keep them in the ground for too long after that because, you know, uh, we get a rain here, you know, and uh, it'll make these this garlic soggy. Uh, we don't want it to be moldy or soggy, so we gotta take them out of the ground at that time. Lorraine's getting the garden beds ready. What are you doing to get them ready, Lorraine? Uh, all, I, all we did was add some more topsoil here to level out the beds, and then I'm just taking my shovel and just making a groove into the soil, so that way we can just put, plop the garlics right in. You don't have to have raised garden beds to plant garlic. We've done it for the last six years, right into the ground. You know, we'd hill up some rows and then just plant the garlic in rows. I'm putting this garlic clove root side down into the ground, pointy side sticking up. I'm going to not push them in all the way so that way we can count them when we're done. And what I want to do is just leave them about a hand space away from each other. Like maybe that one's too close. So just to kind of give them some space to grow. Right there, that's where the garlic is gonna grow out of the ground right here. There's so many varieties of garlic. When you really look into it, uh, we have a, a farm friends of ours that grow all, var all varieties of garlic. And it's amazing how much garlic there is. When you plant garlic, you wanna make sure you put them in a spot that you know you're not gonna want to plant food in anytime soon because these are not gonna be ready for, you know, June, July. So you have to keep that in mind when you plant this. You know, I, I, uh, this is not gonna be the spot where we grow our tomatoes next year, you know, or, or, or any kind of food. So keep that in mind when you're planting garlic that we're not gonna touch, basically touch this bed. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 cloves of garlic in this bed. 70, out of 70 cloves, we are going to get 70 heads if they all germinate properly of garlic. All this garlic cost us under $10 and we're gonna make, if all goes well, 145 heads of garlic. Yeah. So next year, we'll grow that much, right? We'll harvest that much. Yeah. We are growing it now. Yeah. We'll harvest next year in June. Um, we will be harvesting, and it's not just the garlic that we're we're gonna be harvesting. We're gonna harvest garlic scapes in yep. the end of May, beginning of June, right before we harvest the whole head. And with that, that's almost like double. Like if we if we do grow 145 heads of garlic, we will grow 145 long noodles of garlic scapes uh, that taste just as good as garlic, just as flavorful and powerful as garlic. Amazing! Yeah. So it's just like it's like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> yeah, they don't sell garlic scapes at the grocery store either. Now the only thing left to do is just cover them with the soil. Yes, I'm just gently. Covering them back up. When we are growing garlic, one thing we like doing is covering it because this is gonna be growing all winter long. And now since we have a forest, we're gonna collect some leaves. Now, if you don't have a forest, you'd always go to your neighborhood, collect, ask your neighbors, collect some leaves. Well, that's one thing I need to do is we don't have a, a gate to, to get into our forest here. We have the, you know, this horse wire here, but there's not an actual gate to get in there. So we've just been going through the horse wire, but it'd be hard to get this, this gorilla cart in there.
Man, guys, I'm seeing a lot of acorns around here, and I cannot wait to get some feeder pigs because I want to put them in this forest. There's a bunch of goodies out here. Man, I would love to see some pigs out here. So if you guys have any feeder pigs, I'm looking. Shoot me an email. You don't have to do a super thick layer, and you might have to add to this as the months go on. All right, and that's it. You know, you pretty much set it and forget it. You know, you let nature water it, or you can water it yourself, uh, depending on how much rain you get. But in the past, we usually don't even water it. And then you'll start to see the garlic sprouts just sprouting up all over. And then around June time is when we'll harvest them. Should I give it to all of them or just some of it? Mushrooms? Or turnips? Just some of it. I think that's fine. And if you guys want to know what garlic scapes are, I'm going to leave this video right here so you guys can watch this. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.